So I went on eBay and bought this kit for £40. Today we're going to be putting that in the headliner of my 350Z, which should make it look like this when it's done. So the first thing we're going to do is get this headliner out. Let's get straight on with it. That's right, so we're putting a Rolls-Royce style headlining inside the interior of the 350Z. On top of that as well, I'm also going to be re-trimming the headlining in Alcantara and also re-trimming the steering wheel. So the interior is getting you know, a nice little modification slash refresh. Now, another one of the jobs that we've got to do, as you can see, all of the plastic parts match the colour of the headlining, so we've got to paint all of these black. And also, we've got to figure out how to change the colour of the sun visors too, so there is plenty to do in this video. So, as far as headlinings go, this was probably one of the easiest to remove. All we had to do was unclip the A and the B pillars, remove the sun visors and the plastic trims from the middle, and then it started to pull down, and then it was just a case of removing the electrical connectors, and the headlining was just about free, and we had to wiggle it out without creasing it. Then just a quick celebratory slow-mo, and it's starting to remove the rest of the trims. So I couldn't figure out how to get the little metal clips off of these plastic pins which hold in the centre light and the sunglasses holder, so I ended up just cutting them off and then I intended on reattaching them later using hot glue. So now with everything removed from the headlining it was just a case of masking off the plastic trims so they could be ready to be painted. The way that we did this was dead simple, we just used a plastic primer and a satin black spray paint and the result at the end, you know, it wasn't too bad, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, I think the most important part here anyway is making sure that the masking is on point because then otherwise you're going to spend a lot of time cleaning up later. So the plastic trims are now painted and now it's time to turn our attention to the headliner. This is the bit I'm most excited about, getting this Alcantara laid down. To do this I had 1.2 by 1.5 metres and it was just a case of laying the material over, applying a spray adhesive to the back of the material and the headliner itself and just thoroughly sticking it down. This was a surprisingly easy and enjoyable mod to do. I have never done this before, uh, so I'm not claiming I know the best way to do it, but I seem to get a decent result on it. So I'd definitely say if it's something you're considering, get that headline off and give it a try yourself. Now in retrospect I only just realised when editing this video I only sprayed the headlining on the second half and it definitely didn't stick as well on this half so I definitely recommend spraying the back of the material and the headlining with the spray adhesive. So now the Alcantara is all laid down and stuck down, it was just a case of trimming back all of the holes and all of the edges, ready for that final finish and ready for that final tuck on the material. So my aim here was to try and get the material tucked as tight around the edge of the headlining as possible and this way I think it was going to give a much tighter and better finish. So the way that I intended on doing this was just using a hot glue gun to stick down the excess material over the edge and just ensuring it was a nice tight fit. So as you can see, I actually ended up dragging the headlining into my lounge to do this. The reason being, it's quite a long, tedious job that you want to take your time doing. So making sure that you're somewhere comfortable to do the job, I thought was quite important. So now the retrim on the headlining was complete. It was time to install those Rolls-Royce style lights, as sported by myself here. 
So the way which I did this, it felt kind of counterproductive. I'm not going to lie, drilling holes in something you just spent so long trimming, but it was drilling holes through the back of the headlining, poking each individual strand through the hole which you've just drilled, and then hot gluing it from the back. There was 150 lights to do here, so it was not a quick job. And it did take quite a while, I'm not going to lie. So I'd definitely say, you know, break it down to sections, do it in, you know, a half or a quarter at a time, give yourself a chance to have a break. So after 150 holes and strands drilled into the headlining and glued, this is what it was looking like. And I'm sure I'm going to get some hate in the comments section for this, but the sun visors, I just couldn't figure out what exactly to do with them, so I just ended up sat in black in them, and they turned out alright. Okay, so there is all of the lights, all 150 of them, glued into the new suede headlining. Now, I'm not going to put this back in yet. First thing I'm going to do is trim these back, and also I've got a little mod for the steering wheel, so I'll go and get that. Okay, so we've got the steering wheel pulled off the car. If you don't know how to do this, check the link in the top right-hand corner where we recolored the interior, and it shows you on there. I bought this kit, again, from eBay. I think this is about 50 quid, uh, and what this is is a new Alcantara cover for that steering wheel. So, in this kit, you get a cover to your preference. I've gone for a green stripe, which was supposed to be matching in with the Porsche acid green calipers, but it is a little bit too green, but we can let it ride. And in the rest of the kit, you get all your stitching, your needles, and also some double-sided tape. Uh, you know, everything you need to do the job, basically. Again, I have zero experience in retrimming anything at all, so this was also a first for me, and it was actually surprisingly simple. It was very, very time-consuming, I'm not gonna lie, but again, it's one of those things that anyone with zero knowledge basically can do, so I definitely recommend trying it yourself. If you are interested in doing some of these bits and bobs at home, I'll leave a link in the description for everything that I've used in this video. So after about two hours of stitching the steering wheels, retrim so we could reassemble that, ready for it to go back in the car. As far as mods go to the car, which I've done already, I think this is my favourite one, the steering wheel. Because it's an area of the car which you look at all the time and also touch all the time while you're driving, it makes such a big difference to the look and the feel of the steering wheel. So now it was time to reinstall the headline to the car, which is a bit more fiddly going back in, as obviously you've been a bit more careful because you don't want to damage it. But again, it was just a case of tucking it behind the A and the B pillars, reattaching the sun visors and all the plastic clips that go with it, and it was good to go. Again, not too bad a job. So once the headliner was completely reinstalled, it was time to wire in the fiber optic lights. So the way that I did this is I installed the unit behind the lower B-pillar trim and then ended up powering that off the cigarette lighter which is behind the driver's seat and running the wires behind the sub. Okay, so the steering wheel is now reinstalled in the 350Z and the headline is back in with that Rolls Royce style lighting in there too. So take a quick look. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, 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 not. So how much of a vibe is it in here now? Honestly, it's looking absolutely top notch. The only problem I'm having is that I can't seem to get the remote to work for it to change colour and to dim the lights down as well. So at the moment they're stuck on white and stuck on full brightness, but hopefully the company I bought it off will be able to fix it for me. But honestly, I'm absolutely in love with the headliner and the steering wheel feels awesome. Please, if you can soon do it yourself, just give it a crack. It's a right fun job to do. It's not too much of a pain in the arse. It just takes a bit of time and a bit of patience is all. But uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next video. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, 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 not,
on the shit. Throw 